Hey everybody, my name is Kadam, welcome back for another video of NHL 22, that's right, we're coming back to this series, I've just finished uh, La Last Judgment as I'm talking uh, for the recording and stuff, and uh, I've got other two other videos to record, so gotta find a new game, and I figured out it was a tie pretty much for me between NHL coming back, because I did say I was gonna come back, obviously eventually to this, uh, didn't take long though, as long as I thought it would, but uh, I figured it was a tie between this or the Old Republic. The Old Republic though is I'm still waiting on the uh, the main inspection, even though there's still ha there there has been some uh, missions that I've uh, covered, like uh, some uh, special raids and stuff that you can do in game. I kind of want to really wait until I can do all the raids combined with the new expansion. I kind of want to wait and that apparently is going to be coming in uh, February. So we're going to wait until then for Star Wars The Old Republic boys. It is going to come back. Don't want you worry about it. Uh, the longest reigning series I've ever done in my channel. And the one I had one of the most fun out of of course because I get to make my own decisions and stuff and it is the Star Wars universe but for now we don't have anything to play uh, so we're gonna play this obviously we're gonna be playing uh, franchise mode again now what's what we're gonna do is I am not too sure what team I want to choose first off I want to share show you guys brand new uh, things that the game or the developers EA that is decided to add to the game so they actually added some features which were uh, are fantastic, much needed. Roster sharing. So people can actually create their own rosters and you can download them. It's really a fantastic idea and I think uh, they should have done that a long time ago. I'm going to activate a, 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 a roster, the roster that uh, the guy made for me. Now I did modify it a little bit uh, myself, but that's because I added a bunch of a legends into the team we don't really want to play with the legends boys uh, that would be a bit too cheaty so we want to uh, keep it r a little bit more realistic for us so we're gonna do the custom roster that the guy made and uh, everything seems fine he, uh, if we go into roster for example and uh, player movement we're gonna be able to see uh, a little bit of the changes uh, I don't know too much about everybody else I do know the Getslav went up a little bit in terms of overall, but I'm not too sure about anybody else really. What I can figure out though is over here, if I go to my team, Montreal that is, uh, he did up, he did downgrade some players and upgrade others, so he did do his job. Uh, price obviously, he downgraded price, which makes sense. Instead of a 90 overall, he's, a, he's an 88 overall. Uh, makes sense because Price hasn't played a single game this year that I know of. Uh, and uh, Petrie, uh, sure, he's kind of the same old, same old. Gallagher, I think, is the same. Suzuki had a huge upgrade. Suzuki uh, definitely had a huge upgrade. So uh, there's that. You know, he's doing some uh, some stuff. He definitely did a good job overall of upgrading everybody around. So I, I feel like I'm, we're going to be fine. What I want to go for is... I'm not too sure which team I want to go for, to be honest. So we're just going to go up on in really quick. Do new franchise mode. And we'll we'll choose a team, but I, I just don't know which team I want to pick. Uh, we're not going to do the expansion draft. We're just going to do classic. We already did the Kraken. That was our uh, first let's play was the Kraken. So I, I'm not too sure what I want to go for. We'll figure it out, though. I think I've never done the Sabres before, though. I'm kind of intrigued. Uh, let's be uh, let's just say it like that. I'm kind of intrigued with the sabers. You know what? We'll pick the sabers boys. We'll do it. We're gonna do the sabers. We are gonna be in the east. It looks like Yeah, I'm gonna pick the sabers. We are in a tough division uh, Kind of actually I think we are in actually in a kind of a weak division So we should be doing all right, even though we did the Tampa Bay Lightning uh, Maple Leafs and Boston they should all be having a good time, but the rest of them kind of garbage. So I think we should be all right. So we're going to definitely be the Sabres. Also, uh, honor mode off, salary cap off, boys. I, I never play with salary cap. I don't like it at all. I feel like it's a garbage thing. And it, if you put it off, 
it allows for more complex stuff to happen. You know, it allows for more complex ideas or co uh, complex traits to happen and all. Uh, Fog of War off, player morale off. It did the coach lines off, obviously. And uh, the rest, we're going to keep the CPU trades on. We're going to do a best out of three. It's going to allow for really some r really wild uh, decisions to happen in the playoffs. R uh, wild stuff. Uh, playoff tie break. Continuous OT. Uh, yes, we're just going to do a continuous OT. Overtime loss. Sure, one point. And for the rest, I think everything's fine, boys. So we're going to keep it like that. Gameplay sliders. We are going to do attribute effects 10. I want the attributes to mean quite a lot. Game speed 6. Yeah, whatever. Injury occurrence, boys. We are going to do 9 for the injury occurrence. Obviously, we don't want to have too many injuries. If there's not enough of them, though, we'll definitely bring it up a notch. It's getting... The rest is fine by me, boys. The rest is really fine. I don't care about uh, any of that. So uh, there's that, I guess. So we're going to hop on in. I think we're ready to roll, boys. Let's do this shit. All right, so we're in. As you can see, first thing we're going to do is take a look at our scouting and our st coaching staff. So our coaching staff, we've got two. Uh, we got a B coach, uh, B head coach. So our head coaches, our coaches overall are decent, but not. Uh, they're not bad. They're not good either. Uh, they're decent, so... We'll keep the same roster. I, I don't really care. We'll keep them for now. Once their um, contract expires, obviously, I'm not going to uh, keep them. But uh, for some of them, I'm not going to keep them. But uh, I should be fine. So we've got the OHL, Liga, SHL, WHL. We got uh, for the East as well. But is he a better? He's better in the Central. Let's put him. Uh, let's put this guy into Central really quickly because he's better in there. There we go. So we put him in the central. He's going to do his job there. So we've got uh, this guy. Is he good anywhere? It's not good anywhere. So we're going to get uh, rid of him. Fire that scout. Uh, we've got this guy. Fire that scout as well. Uh, QNGHL. We've got it as well. So we've got everybody for Canada. For USA, we don't have anybody. I feel like we're missing something. Uh, we're missing the... Um, the East for USA right now. So we're going to try and figure that out. We do have Dell. We got Russia. So everything, like, we've got a lot. We already have, a like, some good a good stouts, uh, scouts in there. Some pretty decent scouts, boys, across the board. Over here, we've got all of our players. Uh, Thompson. Wait, is that uh, Tage Thompson? So I don't know who these guys are. We do have Tele Dylan Cousins. Big time prospects. And a mi uh, Mittel stat, we have him as well. We got Cody Eakin. Now, Eakin is a two-way forward. 82 of offensive awareness and 80 of end eye. Not too shabby. Do I have something better than him, though? Better options? 85 right here. Rustolainen would be a lot better. Would definitely be a better option. We're going to pick Rustolainen right here. Instead of uh, Cody Eakin. So Rustaline is going to be our fourth fourth center for now at least. And he's a sniper on top of that. Uh, left wingers, one, two, three, four. We're going to get rid of Cagiola. All right, that's that. So we've got Skinner, uh, Haslan, and uh, uh, Gergensen. And we also have York. Man, that nine million deal for Jeff Skinner. Unbelievable, man. That is a waste and a half of a contract. Six years still on nine million. These, I don't know what Buffalo was smoking when they uh, when they gave him that contract, but they were smoking some good stuff. That's for sure. All right, what about the right wing uh, place? We do have other. Uh, so we do have Jack Quinn. Uh, Jack Quinn is at 87. 87. That's quite good actually. Peterka, 85. And 85, okay. And what about uh, the ongoing guy, Inostroza? Yeah, Inostroza not that good. We are going to have to pick somebody like Jack Quinn, for example. Although Jack Quinn is really good, the end eye is not really up there. Compare to Peterka. Peterka is actually better right now, better option. We'll pick Peterka, boys. I know you guys are going to be, what the fuck's going on? 
Uh, why aren't you picking up Jack Quinn? But I feel like Paterka is a better overall player right now. He's got better NI than Jack Quinn. So we've got also, we, we also have uh, one, two, three, four, five, a six, seven. Do we not have better defensemen? Man, we don't have a thing. We don't have anything for the team. We've got Owen Power. There he is, boys. Owen Power, which is a uh, big time elite player. Look at that. Uh, 84-72 though. So that's a guy that was created by uh, the guy that uh, did the roster and everything. Uh, we could get Owen in there. 84 70, 72 though. I think it's better than Pissick. I think it is. Let me just make sure really quick. Yeah, Pit yeah, it's definitely better than Pissick. Pissick was just bad overall. Uh Davidson, he's got like uh 77 of overall, I think. Uh so we've got Bryson, which is a prospect. Pro Bryson were the, I don't know if I want to keep him or not. Hold on. He's got a better, he's better than uh, power though. He's better than power. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think he's better than power. And uh, if we look at that, uh, Samuelson, not too good, not that good. And uh, we do have, okay, so Eden Prow is pretty good. Prow is pretty good. Prow could be uh, the guy we put as the depth uh, defenseman. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up doing that, boys. I'm just going to end up putting Prowse the seven defenseman and Bryson's going to be playing for us in the actual league unless I find something better for the free agency which is probably going to be the case and for goalie wise we got Tokarski and Subin Tokar Tokarski is our main starter that's pretty bad that is really bad boys I don't know what to tell you right here our team looks like trash we got Craig Anderson in there I guess that's an 83 because I'm looking for the goalies. I'm looking at recover and a recovery and vision. What about uh, Subin? Is he any good? 85, yeah. So we do have the best available uh, out of all of our uh, uh, goalies. I guess we got the best available choice. Alrighty then. Well, we need kind of everything right here. We uh, I don't know what to tell you, but our team is trash. Let's see if we got any options uh, in the free agency. Not a whole lot, and all we can find is a bunch of veterans like Marlo and Stahl, which we don't need right now. Goalie-wise, we don't have anything. And defense? Nothing either. Yeah, there's nothing in the free agency that could help us out straight away. So we'll just roll with what we got, and uh, we'll deal with it, I guess. And it's also called, instead of best lines, it's called preferred lines at this point. So they also changed that, uh, EA that is. Let's just do preferred lines. Um, I'm going to buff find the lineups really quick. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, boys. So here's going to be our starting lineup for this year until we decide to make some trades, which we obviously are going to do uh, towards the trade deadline. That's for sure. But um, we're going to start with Jess Skinner, Middlestat, and Olufsen. Uh, the way I'm looking at it is really the whoever who's got the best offensive awareness and I I, I modify these two together. I like uh, I get it together and then I split them in two to give it at an average basically. So I get the average from the offensive awareness and the and I. And whoever's got the best out of all of them uh, gets to be at first. So Olsen, Tuck. Akposo and Petrka, all right. So Cousins is uh, David Cousins are a big time prospects. He's gonna be playing with Tuck and Asplund. It's uh, two way forward, uh, and well, two two way forwards with a power forward. We'll see how it works. Uh, Bjork, which is a two way forward, playing with two power forwards. We got a lot of those. Not a lot of Snyder playmakers, boys. Not really a whole lot of them. We uh, are gonna have Darlene, of course, playing in the first pair with uh, Miller. Butcher with uh, Yoki Harju, uh, Bryson with Hog boys, and for the goaltender situation, we got Tokarski as a main starter. It's gonna be rough. Uh, we'll try our best though with uh, Subban uh, as the backup for the D for the AHL. It's gonna be Merch, Eken, and Inustrosa. Yes, Jack Quinn is playing and the the second line boys. Uh, I don't know, I'm not sure if I want to put him on the second line or whatever. 
Let's put him on the first line. Why not? Let, let's try and put him on the first line. I guess. It's not like uh, I can I have anything to lose. Uh, still, I mean, it's a very dangerous thing to do. Oh, this guy. I got to put him up, actually. There we go. So Peyton Cribs. Peyton Krebs, I'm not too sure. Like 87? Oh, he's much better than Merch. Yeah. So Peyton Krebs, yeah. We'll play him with uh, Quinn and Eakin for sure. There we go. That's going to work out uh, pretty well. Whoever's got abilities, I'm definitely going to be playing him on top. Uh, same thing like for Owen Power. I'm playing him there. We've also got Fitzgerald and Samuelson. All these good guys. So they, they, we're going to be fine. We got a decent uh, team in the AHL. We got Dale and Anderson, uh, like big time veteran goaltenders. So we'll see how it goes for our prospects. Uh, same thing as well. I want to see at, uh, well, I got to modify my strategy. So aggressive for sure. Uh, one, three, one. Obviously, we want to do four check. We want to do the trap, boys. Trap all day because it's a one, three, one. Aggressive. We're going to do full attack. Normal. Tight point, we're going to do Collapse. Large box, sure, why not for now, boys. Umbrella, we're going to put it at Overload for Power Play. And uh, we're going to kind of dump it a little bit. We're going to dump it a little bit. Uh, control, Strong Slide. Uh, strong side, uh, we're going to do 5 back. And uh, Close Support. And we're going to put it at Aggressive. Overload, right here. Obviously, we want uh, we want that overload as well, and same thing over here overload. All right, so we got all of our strategies. Next thing, boys, captaincy in jerseys. Who's the captain? Do we have an actual captain? We don't. So it's split up between Dalin, uh, Akposo, and Jurgensen's. Don't really want that right now. Uh, I'm going to put it. Dylan Cousins is going to be have an assist, uh, an alternate. Akposo, I guess he can keep it. I guess he can keep the alternate uh, thing. And Adalin as well can keep the alternate. We're going to have three alternates. We're going to keep that scenario. We don't know uh, who we really want just yet to be our captain. So we're going to wait a year to see who's the best option. So let's just start simulating, boys. Uh, we are, are going to simulate until we get like all of our co staff and all. So Bandra is here. There we go. So we got Bandra, we got Titanar. Not too sure if they're all going to be sent the proper direction in terms, especially for the European side. They might have some. We might have some double, uh, double scouting in certain regions, but I don't really care about too much, uh, too much about that. So we, I think we got everybody. I think we're getting uh, literally everybody in terms of scouting. Everybody's accepting. It's pretty easy to get the scouts, boys. Yeah, everybody's there. All right, so we got everybody for the scout. I just looked at it, boys. Everything's fine. So just going to sim until the regular season. We'll see how the preseason went, boys. But for now, let's just sim until uh, the regular season. All right, there we go. So how did it go for the, uh, the preseason? Let's uh, look at it really quick. Okay, so that's a record of 5-2. Five 5-2 and two. Five and two for the preseason, which is very good. Very good. Seems like my strategy might be working. We'll see how it goes, boys. We are obviously facing off against the Montreal Canadiens for our very first game. And we're playing in uh, home time, uh, hometown as well. Uh, division. So it's literally a division uh, game right off the bat. Let's start it up, boys. Let's do this shit. Montreal lost their first game. Let's see if we can beat them on our first, uh, first ever game this year. We can. We sure did. And Bryson, our defense, uh, defenseman from the third pair, boys. Two points, one goal in the first game. That's really good. Arizona Coyotes, second game. And we end up losing, but in shootout. So we lost in shootout right there. That's okay. That's perfectly fine by me. Bryson is our best player. That is the one thing that's surprising me the most right now. Uh, third game against uh, Vancouver. That's a win. That's a W right there, boys. Boston, are we going to be able to win a game? We win 10 nothing against Boston. What did I do with them? I mean, I don't have any team. I don't really have a team. We uh, we do have our first regulation loss after four ga uh, five games against the uh, New Jersey Devils. A uh, Tampa Bay Lightning, another loss, but shootout loss. So uh, that's good, boys. Only one regulation loss so far. Well, now we're up against the Anaheim Ducks. There's a regulation loss right there. Okay, that's kind of three losses in a row there, though. 
So we got to keep that in mind. Uh, Rasmus Asplund has been injured. So we're going to have to replace him. That was our second left winger. He's going to be replaced by Kagiola. 3v3, I guess we're going to have to put him in as well. Because he is replacing uh, our boy right here. So let's see. That's going to be another second regulation loss in a row. All right. Not, uh, not too good right now. Let's keep it going though against uh, St. Joseph Sharks. There we go. That's more like it. That's more like the team we are. Uh, keep losing a losing streak right now. We are getting the shootout losses though. If I can upgrade the shootouts, I could definitely. Yeah, we keep losing on shootouts. Oh, that's a bunch of wins, boys. So three wins, three losses in regulation, and four losses all in shootouts. Not even overtime. All in shootouts. So if I not, if I can upgrade my overtime and shootout ratio, I would be doing I would have a lot more wins. So it's my shootout that's not working out right now. Extras, let's see really quick. Shootout is not working whatsoever right now. Let's put Darling first. Olufsen next. Uh Skinner can be uh I, I guess Tuck. Tuck can be in there. Skinner you can be in there, but I want something better. Yeah, all skaters, whoever is the best available option right here. How about uh, Bryson? Bryson seems like to be, uh, for me, like he's a really good player this year. He's doing very good. Uh, what about Tarkarski? What's going on? Tarkarski's doing very good. He's playing great. It's just, and even Subban is playing great. It's just we're not winning because we keep losing in the shootout. So that's the what's going on here. Our goalies are doing great. I mean, Jeff Skinner on the first line, boys, had nine points in 10 games played. That nine million is getting into effect right here. Uh, nine points for middle stat as well. And I mean, just look at Olsen, 12 points. He's our best player right now. So really good. I mean, overall, really good. Didn't Cousins, not too many points, but he's doing his thing. And Peterka, even though we got a 75 overall in our right uh, in our fourth, link, uh, fourth line, still doing pretty decent. So, you know, it's just a matter of looking at it the way, like, for me, all my four losses, four out of those seven losses were all in shootouts. So that's what we got to keep in mind. Now we can look into our actual uh, team stats and see what we could maybe change or where we stand. But uh, we are, yeah, one of the best scoring team. So we uh, score a lot of goals. We are a very good defensive team. Power play. Our power play is absolutely trash. So we do need to upgrade our power play. Okay, both penalty kill and power play are garbage. So that uh, is two strategies that I do need to upgrade or to change up. So let's do shooting for the power play. And we're going to do diamond for penalty kill. Let's see if that's going to work out at all for us, boys. Let's start simming again. Against the... Oh, there we go. There's a shootout win. What did I tell you? I, sh I modified the shootout just a tad bit. And now we're actually winning in the shootout. So there's a shootout win against uh, the, 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 Red, the Red Wings. Another shootout win. It seems like we're always going into the shootouts. That means that if we can win those games, those special games in the shootout, boys, it, it's going to do a whole lot for us. There, there's a win against Edmonton. Uh, a, a regulation loss against Toronto, but that's okay. We're getting a lot of points just because of the shootout. At least we're gaining the extra points, right? There's a shootout loss against uh, Pittsburgh. Calgary. That's going to be a win against Calgary, boys. There it is. Okay, so Asplund is finally ready to be uh, to play again. Uh, Calgary ended up playing f eight games in total. Asplund, well, that was a pretty long injury, by my guy. Pretty low injury there. Gotta watch out for that. So 84 of offensive awareness. It seems like everything's fine, boys. Let's keep it going. So uh, now that Asplund is back, that should work uh, things out a little bit more for us. Let's see. Could, there's a win against uh, against the Rangers. Can we get a win? Another win. This time against the Columbus Blue Jackets. There. That's what I like to see. We're getting a good record right now against Boston. A regulation loss, that's okay. Against Montreal, the last game of simulation. Not a regulation loss. So two regulation losses in a row. Montreal's not really a good team, is it? Oh, actually, Montreal is a good team. So that's acceptable. But 
still in the same division though. We got to watch out. Two division losses right here. So we do have 23 points, boys. We're starting to pop up. Uh, six, three, and one in the last record. Uh, our last record. Uh, a lot of those wins at the beginning were shootout wins as well. So you can see I modified the shootout just a tad bit, and we ended up winning. So the extra point, boys, very important to have that extra point. Olsen is by far best player right now. 28 points, 13 goals in 20 games played. Olsen is. Playing out of his mind, boys. He's having a great season right now. This is what I'm telling you. I know how to have great regular seasons. It's when we come up to the uh, playoffs that it becomes difficult. I can do anything with a team. It's just coming up to the playoffs. It's just too much for me. So we are by far the best goal scoring team. And we don't have any offense. I should say that, I guess, because we have the best goal scoring team. But... Like, my team doesn't have any, like, 90 overall players. Not even a 90, 85 overall, a single 85 overall player, boys. We don't even have that. So that just tells you how good we are. Like, 5-on-5, five five, we're really good. We're doing really good. And the power play just went up big time. It went from 11% to 20%. It went by 10%, boys. That's crazy. And our penalty kill keeps going down, though. Uh, so our penalty kill is not good. We got to upgrade that. That is one thing we got to upgrade. So let's just upgrade our penalty kill. It's the one thing that's not working out right now. So I guess passive box is going to be the way to go. Uh, if we want to win this, I guess, boys. So let's keep simming. Let's keep simming, boys. We feel like we're doing great. Uh, we got a uh, regulation loss, the third one in a row right there. There's a win finally against the uh, Seattle Kraken's brand new team. Uh, Pet uh, the Panthers, can we win? Nope, that's going to be a 5-2 to two loss. Now it seems like we're getting, giving up a lot of goals. Uh, we're winning some games, at least. So there's a there's a good thing, I guess. Uh, Anaheim Ducks, can we win against them? There's a win. Alright, so we are winning games. It's just when we lose, we end up losing by quite a, a good amount of margin. Uh, Colin Miller, so we got another injury. That's This time around is our... Top two pairing. And Darlene just grew to an 85 overall. So he's already in the next level, boys. We're going to put Prow in there. He's our uh, player that we're putting in there. Who is the best available option right here? I'd say Butcher is the best one. So let's put Butcher in there. And also Prow, I guess we'll put him... Uh, UK Harju needs to grow. So he's going to stay here. So just going to put uh, Prow in the third pair. Uh, with uh, Bryson, and we're gonna put Hag with uh, Yoki Harju, while uh, ever while our boy uh, ba comes back. So that's two two losses in regulation in a row. Not too good, boys. Yeah, when we lose, we end up losing by quite a good amount of margins because we couldn't score in that game whatsoever. Uh, we gotta find a way to bounce back up, though. There we go. There's a win against. Uh, against the Winnipeg Jets. That's what I want to see, boys. We really want to bounce back up big time. We got 28 games, so two more games to simulate. Okay, Colin Miller is back. Let me see. Let's put him back into the lineup really quick. Prowl, you're going... What did he do for us? Two points and three games played. Yeah, there we go. For a 75 overall, not bad, boys. Not bad. Hag, you're going back in there, and Butcher as well. All right. Let's see really quick. That's a W against the uh, the Minnesota Wild, and against the Pittsburgh Penguins. That's good. That's a W as well. There it is, boys. So, uh, for the last ten games, six and four, pretty good record still. Fifteen, ten, and five. It's uh, decent enough. Decent enough, and it's a good enough for us to be at a thirty-five points. So, be a third spot in our division. The Panthers are second. That's a surprising one. The Red Wings as well. Seems like um, the teams that were supposed to be in the bad uh, at the bottom are in the top, and uh, so the ones that were the supposed to be at the top are in the bottom. That is uh, a major difference right there. That's uh, a surprise, uh, definitely a surprise right there. Now, if we look at the team stats again, we are starting to trend down in terms of uh, goals for uh, goals against. We're still very good. Uh, power play is trending down a little bit, but still in the in the good spot and our penalty kill is going up so everything's fine 
everything's fine by me. If we take a look at my lineups really quick, just to be sure everything's doing good, uh, because we are 30 games played already. Uh, Jeff Skinner, he has 24 points, boys, in 30 games played, so he's doing good. That first line is really doing good. Uh, second line as well is performing quite well. We've got third line's doing fantastic. It's the fourth line. Fourth line is the one giving up all the goals, boys. But what am I supposed to do with a 75 overall in as a right winger? The second pair is doing pretty good. Third pair as well. So, yeah, I don't know, boys. Just feel like it's Darlene not doing too good. Uh, for right now, that is, though, we're going to stop the video right here. Uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the interview. I'll see you guys for the next one where we're going to finish off the season itself. Keep it easy.